what the programs that we're using offer are an opportunity for the teachers to monitor student progress in a way that's much more detailed and very data-driven. Um, so they get immediate feedback from the programs on the student um, performance and what aspects of the learning are most challenging to them. They can tailor then their individual interactions with the student as they're sitting down to do their math or reading as well as the computer program differentiating the instruction to be sure that they're really emphasizing what that student needs the most assistance with. The other interesting thing is that it enhances student motivation. They're responsible for moving their um, own progress, for moving their own learning forward. And most of the programs have some degree of flexibility in terms of what the student chooses, um, you know, they're, they're directed and tailored toward them. But for instance, there's a reading intervention program where the student can choose the topic of their choice out of a, an array of sort of current events or nonfiction topics. And the program will differentiate the instruction so that the article is presented to them at their reading level. It's pretty remarkable. It's something that a teacher can't do in the moment for all of her students. Um, so it allows, again, that flexibility and for the students to continue to seek learning that they want to pursue. Our teachers are able to print out at the end of any lesson or any day their students' data and look at that and make a determination about what they're going to target the next day. They can then break students into small groups that are working on, of students who are working on like goals and work with those students on a particular lesson. In the meantime, the rest of the class can be working on their goals online. Um, so it really is a truly blended learning environment. Everyone's working on what they need to in a combination of both live and online instruction.